Boom, everybody! I am Crush2525, and... Whoa, this place is a little overgrown. <laughs> I guess I haven't cut the grass in a while. <laughs> so, welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. Um, but yes, I have gone around and bone mealed the grass, and got all these nice little flowers. And some of them, like, grew in here, and I just took them out and put them on the borders of things. I didn't get over there, don't mind that. Shh. Uh, I got rid of these trees, and overall, it's just been kind of not doing all that much. So, I did get, as you saw in one of the clips in the last episode, I did get uh, some new tools, but some of them you didn't see, some of them you did. Like, my war axe now has sharpness 3, efficiency 4, and unbreaking 3. All those were on one book that I fished for, and I'm like, I need that. <laughs> Uh, my expo has flame, power 5, unbreaking 3, mending, punch 2, and infinity. Which is why I was able to take off the skeletons and stuff in the dungeon so easily. Uh, just a re regular spoon. Um, the bane of the undead, because it has smite 4, I need to put unbreaking and probably mending at some point on it. Uh, this is my favorite. Efficiency 4, I can get that up to efficiency 5 eventually. Unbreaking, I can get that up to three, and mending. So it doesn't even matter about the unbreaking. I have mending. Oh, I'm so happy. It's so nice to just go and mine and just not have to worry about it. And I just realized, looking at my inventory, that I haven't made myself a shield yet. How have you guys not reminded me of that? So uh, we will go ahead and uh, make ourselves a shield for the first thing in this episode. Just go over and get some wood. Six. And for those of you that don't know how to craft a shield and are looking for it, it's you just make a Y and then put the iron ingot in the goalpost. Or, I don't know, whatever. Football jokes. American football jokes. Anyway, you make this pattern with an iron on top and that gets you a shield. Yay. Um, uh, do I have enough wool? No, I don't have any dyes or anything. I was going to say, I can make a a banner to put on it, but, eh, eh, not feeling it. So, today I figured maybe we'd get away from it all. We'd go on an adventure. Go ahead and hop in our boat and start sailing to unforeseen lands. Oh, I heard a zombie. Where are you at? Where are you, zombie? Okay, whatever. But here we go on our maiden voyage. And we're off. Right, so the main thing that I'm looking for is a either another, like, not rare biome, but, you know, unusual biome, like a mesa or something, or even a desert at this point. But I'd like, above all, an ocean monument. Now, I looked on a mist. I have used a mist, I will admit. <laughs> I, I'll admit that I used a mist. Okay. But it did say that there was an ocean monument somewhere in that direction. Well, I'm sorry also if the recording cuts out occasionally. Ooh. Is that the. Is that just one island? Just a little island with a tree on it. Aww, look at this. I just want to take a second and just come over here and look at this. Okay, boat, you stay there. Wow, this is really cool. I don't know why, but I think it, I feel like it is. It's just, it's special. And of course, I have no wood on me, and I don't want to take down this tree. Wow. And look at the view. We have a nice little forest over here. And some extreme hills. Taiga. <gasps> spruce. Oh, we're going to go get some spruce. Because I've been wanting another wood type for a while now. I'm sick of just the same three. I want my spruce. So, yeah. I guess I'll meet you guys back once I'm up there. Alright, guys. I'm just chopping down some trees and... I just realized 
Um, hold on, let me get this last block. It's turning night. And this isn't good. I need to get this stuff quick and beat feet out of here. Oh, what? No, come, come down here. Oh, did you already? Can't tell. Oh, well. Um, wood. Uh, sapling, sapling. Um, I don't want to... Uh, oh, well. I guess I'll be okay. I'll be able to handle myself, but I just don't want you guys to go blind, you know? Alright, so... There's chickens over here, too. I just thought I'd mention that. But, um... Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to cut until either it's daytime or you know something else I don't know something astounding happens like something really exciting like I die again then I'll come back but other than that uh, I'll see you in a sec okay so I'm standing here with a good friend of mine Mr. Tallman Mr. Tallman can you say something about yourself oh no tall man's not amused oh all right guys the sun is shining and we're on a boat in a brand new day I'm just kind of skirting the out um, the coastline here that's the appropriate word just you know taking it in uh, looking for some nice biomes um, I'm not really too interested in extreme hills because they don't have much to offer but if I remember correctly this right here was a smaller ocean and this opens up into a really big one so I'm just gonna keep uh, patrolling the coastline and if I find anything really cool I'll come back and show you oh dang it drop frames alright I'll see you guys in a sec is this another island with just one oh no well it has two trees on it but one of them's huge what is up with these islands with just one tree on them oh apparently I was standing on my boat but wow this is just weird I've never seen these before was just a little tree next to the mainland it's strange hmm just thought I'd show you guys that there's another one oh Alright guys, it's been literally like a minute since that last cut, but I found a birch forest. It's not too often I personally see those. I know they're pretty common, but hey, I found a birch forest. I actually like the look of birch forests. A lot of people like don't like birch, but I like it when it's in a forest just kind of by itself. It makes it seem, I don't know, like it's its own thing. It's just magic. Oh. Um. Well, guys, I think I was wrong about the big ocean thing. I think we just now hit it. Because, wow. This just goes on in every direction. I kind of don't want to go out here because I don't want to get lost. I mean... There's a little island over there, but I'm not too sure where any other mainland is. It's kind of, kind of scary thought. Oh, there's a, a land rising over there. Well, let's just head this way and we'll head, we'll turn straight around and we'll hit the island. So, oh. Oh, there's the ocean monument. I knew I I knew it was going to be out here. Kind of don't want to get too close to it, but uh, it's a good thing there's a landmass, albeit very small, uh, close by to it because it's usually very hard to do it without a land surface somewhere near. Oh, guardians are already spawning. Oh, the elder guardians right there. Wow, that is so cool. I've never actually in survival 
uh, cleared out one of these before. So that'll be an adventure for another day. But hey, at least we know where it is now. So that's good. Wait, you can sprint in boats? Does it actually make you go faster? Or does it just increase your FOV? Oh, I think you actually go faster. Wow, well. Oh, it doesn't feel like you're actually going faster. I don't know. At any rate, I'm probably just gonna try the other coastline and then see you back in a sec. So guys, I figured, you know, if we're gonna be out and about, just, you know, making an exploration, why not, while we're at it, do something productive? And I think you can get maybe kind of an idea of what I mean when I show off these things in my inventory. Yeah, we're going to be mapping the area. I kind of like doing it. It just feels kind of good, you know, knowing where you are, just having a map in general. So I'm just doing this so that if you don't know how to make a map, um, just so you can know how to do it, basically. If, how to make it bigger and stuff because a lot of people actually don't know how to do that so doing it for you guys to see oh wait can you not what oh do you have to use the map first I think you do I am a thinking you do all right using the map whoa that's a big area of land. But at the same time, it's kind of not. I mean, when we go over here, and the whole thing is loaded. So, just that distance that we just ran. Sorry for it bobbing up and down so much. But, it's really not that far. So, what you do, I believe is see see how it says scaling at one to one level zero out of four when we put one of these on it becomes what oh maybe it hmm weird this should be working did i just waste paper scaling at one to one this is very strange. Oh, no, that time it worked. So you see how it's a lot bigger radius now? Yep. Okay, it's working. I just, I don't know if I did it wrong the first time or what happened. But this is how you get your maps to be really big. One to two. Or maybe you have to make more maps. I don't know. But this seems to be working, so I'm just going to go ahead and use all of my paper and make some big maps okay so I figured out how this stuff works for every level that you go up the amount of paper that you need to use scales like for the first one I had to use a total of um, 16 pieces of paper well this time I had to use 64 to get it to level 2 so I don't have the paper supplies for that and I tried other stuff like using empty maps but this is this is how you do it so yeah um, not the area that I thought it was gonna do but hey maybe we can make some kind of a what am I looking in there for Maybe we can make some kind of time-lapse out of this I mean just going around checking out you know the sites loading up our map getting a good feel for the area making sure we know our terrain so let's see where uh, I'm not gonna be able to use my boat am I no I'm not oh there's some pigs hi piggies hello hi piggies okay yeah no I'm not gonna be able to use my boat well we got a a decent amount of that done though 
So I guess we'll just do this on foot. You ready guys? Let's go. Alright guys, I'm back and we have completed the map as you can see. As you can see in my hand, yes, the map is done. Uh, I'll show you guys a little better. Yeah, so basically uh, the area that we're in is swamp and like uh, wherever there's water, basically wherever there's a lot of water, it's mainly swamp. All the densely populated areas up the middle um, and going off to the right uh, corners are dark oak forest and somewhere to the left of my crosshair is a taiga now the map does not show any of this but I know it's there so and then off to if I use my pointer that way is just um, ocean which we looked at in the last episode so uh, on my journeys I found these cute little poppy dogs look at them they're so cute Oh, excuse me. That was rude. Just eight. 
Look at these little puppies, though. They're so cute. And luckily, I just happened to have eight bones on me. And they were so nice. They only took, like... Like, three of them only took one bone in order to tame. So, I was really happy about that. And then the other one took two. I was like, eh, it's still good. So, yeah, I don't know whether or not I'm going to name these guys. Or whether I'm just going to, like, shove them in a farm or something. I might keep one. But, honestly, I don't like it when the pets just randomly teleport to you. So, yeah. I don't know. But, uh, if you guys have any name suggestions for one of these guys, then I'm probably only going to keep one. And have the rest in farms and stuff. Like the skele like the the mob farm over here, I could put skeletons for the ones that don't die. Um, so yeah, uh, unfortunately that's actually all the time I have for uh, this episode. Uh, sorry if it's a little shorter, but hey, um, it takes a while to make a map. So um, yeah, if you liked the video, leave a like. Share it with your friends if you liked it a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. And, um, well, I guess I don't have anything else to say. So, goodbye, everybody.